there are some good physical reasons why dynamic text is not only appealing, but can be a very powerful means of communication, a new medium in its own right. I'll speak briefly about three of these. I call them the physics of vision, the utility of auxiliary communication paths, and something about our curiosity-driven natures. First, there's the matter of the physics of vision. Although it seems to us that we're seeing an entire hemisphere in front of our noses, we can only read with a very, very small part of that, just the area immediately in front of our eyes, the, the part which focuses on a little area in the back of our retina called the foveal pit. That's the only part that can really pick up characters with the amount of recognition needed to read. That's why we have to scan back and forth across the lines of a page of text to be able to read. Most of the retina is not used for much of anything during conventional reading. It's this lack of retinal stimulation which probably turns an awful lot of people off to reading as an activity, especially children. Children are programmed to learn. They love to learn and something in their nature just naturally objects to the idea of only relying upon the high-level cognitive processes of reading and having very, very little stimulation coming into their eyes. What they need is an environment where the retina is not only stimulated, but is actually useful to the process of reading. Secondly, there's the matter of auxiliary communication paths. The printing industry has discovered that text, if it's all the same shape, size, and color, and uniformly covers the page, is deadly boring, you can't find what you're interested in, and it can't, it's practically unreadable. That's what the, why the printing industry has hundreds of fonts that prints headlines, and titles in larger sizes, and it uses color frequently to enhance print. Dynamic text offers the possibility of extending this retinal formatting a step farther. And thirdly, there's a point to be made about our curiosity-driven natures. So often when we read, questions pop up in our minds and we wish we could digress, and often we do, and often we leave the printed page behind. Well, what if off in the periphery of our vision there were answers to a lot of the questions commonly asked? And what if we could digress? And what if those digressions could lead to further digressions? This is also part of the plan and the possibilities for dynamic text, that we can have environments where digression is not only possible, but facilitated. This is a way of keeping people interested in what they're reading.